Hello everyone, welcome back to The Budget Sportsman. Thank you so much for joining me on today's video. Today I'm out here with my nephew Ezekiel. I've been promising him a backpacking trip for a long time and today it's finally gonna happen. We're here in near the Harrisburg area of Pennsylvania and we're at the Victoria Trail. We're gonna start here, head a few miles up the mountain, get on the uh, Appalachian Trail. We're gonna stick, stick to that for a while. Hopefully come to a nice trout fishing stream, do a little bit of trout fishing and then we're gonna uh, branch off the Appalachian Trail to head back over the next ridge to our pickup point tomorrow. All told, we're planning to do about 12 miles, camp overnight, have some good food, and um, I was just going to mention that it's really hot today. It's supposed to be a high of almost 90, so uh, wish us luck. We're going to head up the trail. Well, we're not even a quarter of a mile in yet, and we have already found the rocky trails that Pennsylvania is known for. Looks like it's gonna get steeper. Well, we're about half mile in on this Victoria Trail and other than being rocky, it's a nice trail, well marked. And that's uh, not too bad. It switches back up the mountain, doesn't go straight up. So not too bad, we're about a half mile in and we've climbed about 400 feet elevation. Now, I'm realizing that I'm getting old and I'm, you know, Puffing and panting and young whippersnapper back here. He just He's just back here charging ready to go right yep. <laughs> All right, well, we just came to a sign kind of made a little different decision here after looking at all trails app We're gonna branch off of Victoria onto I think it's called whitetail and We should be on the Appalachian Trail in about another three-quarters of a mile or so 0.8 miles and this looks like maybe the the better route to get there so Pretty soon be on the Appalachian Trail. I don't know if you all can see that on this wide angle camera, but there's a hornet's nest or something right there. So I think we're gonna uh, deviate off trail here a little bit. We're enjoying the trail. It's uh, not too steep. It's definitely an incline here, and uh, but beautiful through these pine trees. You can almost get a view to the other mountainside over there. That's what we're going to be. By the end of the day, we're going to cross this valley, be on the top of that ridge over there somewhere. So, only way to get there is keep moving. So far, we've done one mile and 36 minutes, and hopefully, got uh, seven more miles to go yet today. Well, it's not much of a sign, but what it means is that we made it to the top of the ridge and onto the Appalachian Trail. We're 1.3 miles in, almost a thousand feet of elevation gain. And from here on, we just got a couple of miles just staying on the top of the ridge on the Appalachian Trail before it dumps off over the side and down to the creek where we're gonna do a little fishing. But uh, I think we're gonna reward ourselves with a little break here now that we made it to the top of the ridge. Maybe a snack. Yeah. First snack of the trip is some honey roasted peanuts with some peanut butter chocolate chips mixed in. What you going for out of that snack bag, Ezekiel? I, I'll go for some yogurt covered raisins. Yeah. Nice. Need some energy. Ezekiel, is this your first time ever on the Appalachian Trail? I think so, yeah, it is. Yeah. Yep. I think it might be my, not my first time on it, but my first time ever being on it at all for part of an overnight trip. Uh, anyways, pretty cool. What do you think? Is it glorious and glamorous on the AT? Yeah, it's pretty nice out here. <laughs> I guess it's just a rock. I thought it was like a, I thought it was like an old house foundation at first or something like blocked up, but it's just a big rock. <laughs> well, y'all we're about two and a half miles in and we just came up to this place called Kinter View. And let me show you what we got. Just a gorgeous view. Gorgeous, gorgeous view. Got a few more miles before we head back down this side. Do some fishing in the creek at the bottom of the valley and head up to the other side. Hopefully camp up on the top tonight. Now, the bad news is right when we got up to this view, there was another group of hikers here and they told us that a ways up the trail, there was a rock ledge or something and there was copperheads and rattlesnakes in that rock ledge. I don't know about you, Ezekiel. I don't think either one of us are a big fan of that. So we're going to keep our eyes out and give them a wide berth. Well, I'm just going to tell you all that I hate snakes. And those folks said that these snakes were on some kind of a rock outcropping. 
<laughs> but there are a lot of rocks on this trail. So now every time Ezekiel and I come to a big pile of rocks or rock outcropping or something, we're just easing by nice and slow. <laughs> kind of slowed our pace down a good bit. But we're over three miles now. We're only doing eight for the day. It's still just 11 o'clock in the morning. I've only been out here for not even two hours yet. So we're doing fine, but We'd probably be having more fun if we didn't know about a bunch of snakes on the trail. Uh, speaking of which, here's more pile of rocks. And he said something about us on a knife edge, which is kind of where we're at. We're on this real steep off either way, which means that we can't really get around them if they're right in the trail. But uh, we'll just keep our eyes open and ease up through here. Okay, we just came through there, but we still have all of this rocky stuff to go. And we are just like going through just step by step looking peeking i got a stick in my hand uh i know some of you guys probably love snakes and are like oh cool no uh, -uh. not cool not cool dude not cool at all i hate snakes especially ones that have poison in them well it looks like we're about off the top of this stony knife ridge right there is the end. We're getting down to the trail, but we still got to cross all this rocks and it looks ee, not fun. So nice and easy. I really, really, really hope that's the end of it and that we have some open trail for a while because, oh, man, my heart rate's up. Not from hiking. I hate snakes. With a passion, I hate snakes. Ugh. So we're back on more of an open trail here and uh, moving a little faster again. I think we're about 3.5 miles in. We've made a decision. We're gonna head to four miles. Once we hit four miles, we're gonna stop and take a little break. And that'll give us about oh, two, two and a half more miles down to the creek uh, before we do some fishing. We should be there early afternoon and get to do some fishing. So it's 11.40. We've uh, been out here maybe two and a half hours, a little less than two and a half hours. We're four miles in. We decided to stop for our little uh, snack break again. Ezekiel's putting some Luco tape on a couple of hot spots on his feet. And uh, going to have a snack. Then the goal is to go to another mile before we have lunch. So food every mile sounds good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Beautiful spot. Beautiful spot up here on the ridge. Just some kind of ferns here. Uh, kind of got out of that rocky patch. We're all thankful for that. I know I've said that five times already, but glad to be through there. It's a hot day today, but up here on the ridge, a little bit of breeze, not bad. We're having a good time. Well, hello, little feller. How are you today? Funny seeing you way up here on top of the mountain. Well, we were just commenting a little while ago that we hadn't seen any camp spots or anything like that. There are some places that, you know, you maybe would have been able to kind of find a little level spot, but haven't seen anything where we, you know, had seen anybody who, who had camped. We just came across this spot, really cool. I'm gonna mark it on the map. But it's got a fire ring, got some stones set up here for, uh, I guess, sitting around the fire ring. It's got a pretty good, nice, uh, clear and flat spot here. Not much of an overlook, but it would need trimmed out. But you can kind of see out through there. It's right on the edge of the hill here. So uh, pretty cool, pretty cool spot. I'm going to mark it on the map. And who knows, maybe someday come back and camp up here. Well, y'all, I just showed you this uh, little campsite here. We had a consultation meeting and decided we're going to go ahead and have lunch here today. Uh, it's a beautiful little spot. So... I've got the uh, my, sh my boots pulled off and getting some uh, air on my feet, letting them cool down a little bit. That's the bad thing about hiking in waterproof boots in the summertime. We're gonna do a little lunch of a tortilla with, uh, we got brought some packets of peanut butter, individual packets and some individual packets of honey. So we're gonna do some peanut butter and honey on tortilla, get some calories in us, take a little load off our feet. I think we still have about another, we've done a little over five miles, I think. And I think we have uh, about 1.6, 1.7 down to the creek. So probably, after lunch, get a little break, probably uh, just pound out those last mile and a half or so and get down to the creek and do some fishing. All right, Ezekiel, tell me your thoughts on the peanut butter honey tortilla. They are pretty good, given nutrition, energy, they're really good. <laughs> Way to talk it up on the video. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they're not bad for backpacking food, they're really not. My only regret is that I didn't bring more. Well, we had a nice little lunch. Both of us are glad we stopped when we did where we did. My feet are feeling good, got cooled off, and 
Now we're going to make the last stretch down to the creek. We're both excited to do some fishing, hopefully catch us some trout, and uh, maybe cool our feet off in the creek. Let's do it. Finally made it to the creek. This has been kind of our goal all morning, get down to the creek. Unfortunately, there is road access to this creek, and there's some other people already here fishing, and the guy over here is training his dog. The dog's splashing in the water. So uh, we're going to try to move around a little bit, see if we can find a private place to fish. If you ever want to do backpacking fishing, these little rods right here are just amazing. These are Eagle Claw, what do they call it, Packet or something, I think. I don't remember. You can get these at Walmart for sub $20, and they're actually not bad little rods for a rod that collapses down like that. So Ezekiel and I both have them. They're, uh, I don't know, I think like five foot six uh, rod. And pretty nice. We're going to go down here and see if we can catch us a couple of trout. Well, we've been trying to figure out a good place to fish, get away from people, and got into a bunch of brush and stuff. Finally came uh, down here and uh, just caught first fish is a little brown trout unfortunately I forgot to bring like any kind of a chest mount or anything so that I could have the camera rolling while I'm fishing so that was a fail and then uh, <clears throat> I was gonna pull the camera out and show it to you but it got away from me and jumped back in the water before I could get the camera rolling so anyways you have to take my word for it just caught a little brown trout Ezekiel's uh back up the creek trying so hopefully he'll have some luck as well Well, y'all, the fishing's been pretty rotten. We can see fish like crazy. I've never seen so many trout in one spot. I mean, a lot of different spots, but in one stream that you can see them, but they just won't bite. I caught that one, had a couple just sort of swipe at it, but maybe they didn't take it really at all. So uh, we're about to move on. Before we do, got to filter some water. Well, y'all, a while ago when we got down here to the creek, I saw this sign. I'll show you what it says in a minute, but the whole time we've been fishing, I've been contemplating what to do. So we've made a drastic change of plans. Let me show you the sign and I'll explain what is going on. This sign says, State Game Lands, Appalachian Trail Hikers Welcomed. Overnight camping is permitted for through hikers walking the Appalachian Trail from point of beginning to an exit, which is not the place of beginning. Well, I knew about that. And that is why I arranged a drop off and a pickup rather than any kind of a loop so that we would be legal to stay overnight. However, what I didn't think about is that from this point on, we were actually going to branch off onto a connector trail and some other trails that were not the AT. And when I saw that sign, it got me thinking, are we really supposed to be camping on these other trails or side trails other than the AT? The answer is probably no. So I was really debating what to do. Ezekiel and I talked it over. We decided we're going back the way we came from. Remember that beautiful campsite where we ate lunch? Yep, that's where we're going. So we're gonna head back the way we came from, way up the mountain, probably a 1, thousand, 1,100 foot elevation gain and about two miles, 1.75, two miles back to that campsite. But I'm tired, I'm worn out a little bit, but I'm excited because it's gonna be an awesome campsite and we know we're doing the right thing. We're not gonna get in trouble or be in any place we're not supposed to be. And uh, we're just gonna stay there tonight, have a great time and then uh, head out in the morning. May even have to come back the same way we came tonight. There's a possibility of going out another trail, but we'll figure that out. Either way, a uh, nice time down by the creek, but it feels a little bit redundant or kind of like a waste of energy to come all the way down here to catch one fish and then hike all the way back up, but that's what we're doing. So sometimes you just gotta be flexible and kind of roll with it, right bud? Yep. We're just uh, hiking up this hill and boy, realizing kind of how out of shape we are. Uh, I think both of us felt better before we stopped for two or three hours to do some fishing. We actually felt better. We kind of feel like we got, I don't know, relaxed and it's hard to get going again. But we were just hiking up the trail talking. We met a guy down there. I'd say he's probably, oh, if I was a guest, I'd have said he's in his 60s. And uh, he was camping down there by the creek tonight. He said he'd already done 18 miles a day. And uh, <laughs> I just can't imagine doing 18 miles. I think we're probably seven and a half so far for today and feeling like we're uh we're gonna be pretty tired by the time we get to our campsite probably about nine miles for the day so he's doing double that and he's double my age shame on me i guess well we made it back up to the campsite i don't know the whole thing seems a little bit crazy that we uh were here probably like well it's uh 5 45 now so it took us an hour to come up here not too bad considering the elevation we had to gain but um seems crazy we were here like almost six hours ago, five hours, six hours ago, having lunch, and now we're back here. But uh, it's a cool site. Now, it's really funny because we were talking about coming up here, and Ezekiel's like, well, 
what if we got up there and somebody was already there? And I'm like, ah, you know, I don't know. It's a possibility, but I think most most of the through hikers on the 18 and everything are going to get the water. Well, we walk up. We're just getting up here, and sure enough, there's a guy sitting here. And I start to like be, oh man, this is bad. We hiked all the way up here to get this campsite. Well, it turns out the guy's hiking the entire Appalachian Trail, and he, I walked up and said, hey, is there water that way? I said, yeah, there's water down there. He said, okay, I'm out of water. I gotta go. So. Um, we chatted for a bit, shared some stories that he gave us about his experience on the AT, but uh, pretty cool to meet him and he just took off to get water. So fortunately this spot's ours. We're gonna try to figure out where we're gonna put the tent, set up a little bit. Yeah, just kind of take a breather and relax before we start cooking some supper and uh, hang out for the night. I'm, I'm kind of excited. I'm bummed that we had to hike back up the mountain again, but I'm excited because this is a cool spot. There's actually some firewood here. I think there's plenty of wood for us to gather. So maybe we'll have a little fire if we feel up to that. But right now it's time to set up camp. Well y'all about to cook some supper here. Ezekiel's getting his stuff set up in the tent. But I'm going to roll tonight with a top ramen chicken flavor mixed with loaded mashed potatoes. If you've watched some of my other videos before, I did a trip down in Florida, I made this. And when you are hungry, it is so incredibly good. And right now I am starving. So let's get to cooking. I guess it's hot today, so maybe that. Oh, was it? We're getting eaten alive by mosquitoes. All right, all right. Try this. Uh, try this ramen bomb potato here thing that we call it, and tell me what you think. Mm, that's really good. Now, are you lying or you just tell me that for the video? No, it, it's it's really good. <laughs> After going a long hike, it's really good. Mm. I'm going to eat some. I don't know if Ezekiel's convinced yet, but I love this stuff. We took a minute, though, to uh, take a break from eating. And we got a fire going because the mosquitoes are killing us. So we're kind of hoping that maybe the uh, smoke will help keep some of the bugs away. If it doesn't work, we're just going to have to head for the tent because we're getting eaten alive. Well, y'all, I probably look creepy with this light shining in my face, but um, we've just been kind of hanging out here at camp tonight, kind of laying in the tent, telling stories, and uh, got in the tent just to get away from the bugs. Even the fire wasn't totally keeping them away, and I needed to lay down and give my back a rest. So we got in the tent, just kind of were hanging out. Now it's about nine o'clock, little after nine o'clock. I think we're gonna probably, or I'm gonna probably go to sleep pretty soon, get up tomorrow. We just have a couple miles out end out the adventure but i sure am glad you've been joining us today let's get some rest i'll see you in the morning well good morning y'all we uh woke up a little bit ago beautiful morning plenty warm in the tent last night uh but now we're getting our gear packed up got our backpacks kind of mostly organized we're about to pull the tent down pack it up and then we're gonna hike on our merry little way as far as i can tell we got about two miles to get out of here and we'll actually end up not the same place we went yesterday but end up down by that same creek and so we'll probably have a little bit of time before our pickup comes to get us so we'll maybe give a second chance at that creek trying some fishing hopefully this morning it'll be a little cooler maybe the fish will be biting so we're gonna pack up and get out of here we sure enjoyed this little spot this would be a i would come to it again bad news is it's two miles to water and uh pretty steep climb to get up here but it's this really neat spot where, I mean, you're right on the ridge uh, over this way. I don't know if you can see it through the trees or anything, but, I mean, it's only uh, 40, 50 yards before it just drops off, and you can just kind of see out through the trees to the other side. And right here, it just drops off right here, and you're looking out at the next ridge way across the valley. So it's just kind of neat just being right up here on the ridge. A uh, beautiful little spot. Well, y'all, it's a good morning for a hike. It's uh, a lot cooler than yesterday. It's gonna get hot later, but for now it's uh, probably in the high 60s. Still feels a little warm and muggy, but overall there's a little bit of breeze and way, way more pleasant than yesterday afternoon. Overall, this entire section of the AT is pretty rocky. A lot of little ankle twisters, but then there's also sections of the trail that are pretty pleasant actually, fairly flat and uh, mild walking. So. Pretty nice hike so far. 
Well, we're officially done with our stretch on the Appalachian Trail. Uh, now it's just a side connector trail to get back to the road. We're gonna take this Shikalimi Trail and it says it's 0.9 miles. We made it two miles back down the mountain. It took us uh, a little under an hour, about 50 minutes or so, a little bit more than 50 minutes. And we're down by the road. And uh, unfortunately, I don't see the creek, so we're gonna have to just cross the road and get over there and see if we can find the creek, because we probably have an hour or so till our ride comes to pick us up. So let's go see if we can find the creek. Well, we found the creek. Beautiful little spot. Looks like it might get less fishing pressure than where we were yesterday. Still, there's a trail down to it, and I'm sure it gets fished pretty good, but I don't think as much as right where we were yesterday. It looked like it just got pounded. So I'm anxious to go down here and see if we can't catch a couple. Ezekiel's already fishing. Let's get to it. Well, we've been fishing for a while, and I finally caught a fish. Not what I was hoping for. Looks like a little, um, I guess a little chain pickerel. The, park, the markings don't look quite right, but I don't think it would be a pike. So I guess it's a little chain pickerel as what it would be. That's the only thing I've ever seen in a creek like this before. But I was hoping for trout, not chain pickerel. But hey, I guess something's better than nothing, right? I finally caught one. I just quick grabbed the... Uh, camera and put it up on that log oh Dang. it got off probably shouldn't have been messing with the camera oh man that's a that's a real bummer oh that was a trout for sure too that was a decent sized trout oh man that stinks so bad well y'all i guess that's the end of our fishing adventure and i guess at the end of our adventure as a whole our ride should be here any minute so we're just making our way back up to the road a couple hundred yards and uh we'll be on to the next thing back to some work and responsibilities but i hope you enjoyed the video let me know what you thought down in the comments and as always remember to get off youtube and get outdoors into god's great creation